A half dozen years ago, newly appointed Grand Island High School principal Sandra Anzalone sent out a survey, a survey to parents. She asked, what do you see as the leading problem in our schools? And overwhelming response was drugs. We see drugs as the problem and we see little being done about it. The results of that survey prompted action. The formation of one island, one team, one dream to be drug free. That grassroots team is honored tonight as Organization of the Year. We are recognizing a group of dedicated school personnel, town officials, and concerned citizens who together with law enforcement officers are making a difference in the battle against drugs. One Island today is supported by health care providers, counselors, the PTA, and youth groups, to name only a few. One Island has expanded to include other social issues facing our community, such as bullying, domestic violence, and graffiti. It has implemented programs like the Confidential Tip Line, Project Sticker Shop, Safe Homes, Graffiti Busters, and there is now a semi-annual drug drop-off event. Its success is the commitment of its members. One Island works without any financial resources, yet there is a plan, and with a chance for grant money, they are a team that is growing even stronger. So tonight, we honor a growing organization. As Organization of the Year, One Island, One Team, One Dream to be drug free. Accepting the award is Chairman Dan Stenson. I uh, first want to start by congratulating the other recipients here tonight. Uh, it's an, uh, very humbling to share this uh, lectern with them. Dick and Jenny, you guys are awesome. They make an amazing team with uh, Dick with his culinary skills and Jennifer with her business savvy. Of course, Young Life is uh, very near and dear to my heart as well. We've had him in our house many times. Um, Bruce Benson, I just love that man. Uh, he's been very supportive of us through the years and uh, I can't think of a, a better person to receive the honor uh, tonight. And Fran McMahon, just a, a wonderful woman. Congratulations to you too. Uh, the Richard brothers I just met tonight, congratulations to you also. Um, I feel very honored to be accepting this award tonight on behalf of such an incredible team as uh, One Island. Uh, at a town hall meeting that we just had this past Tuesday, I mentioned that the, uh, the strength of our team comes from the amazing people that we have sitting around the table. People who are, uh, truly, truly care about our community and want to see Grand Island uh, be the, uh, the best possible place to live in, in Western New York. Uh, as was mentioned uh, just earlier, One Island started six years ago with the prompting of high school principal Sandra Anzalone. So thank you, Sandra, for getting this thing uh, up and rolling. And the goal was, uh, as was mentioned, to address uh, drug-related uh, issues in the student body and underage drinking. Um, over the past six years, the team has uh, grown in strength and in notoriety, uh, making it a kind of a hub for other types of social concerns as well. And it's also expanded to, uh, to affect the entire community. We have 77 members now that are on our email list. Uh, about 20 or 25 of those are active in uh, monthly meetings. Others are active behind the scenes. Um, this is one of the most engaged groups that I have ever experienced in my life. Um, just, uh, I want to recognize the other members of the team, whether you're, you weekly attend uh, meetings or have in the past, or if you're just on the email list and you're active in, in some small way, even just by reading the emails and, and showing concern for what we do. Could you just stand and be recognized right now? Anybody that's connected with one aisle? Bruce, you are too, so. <laughs> and this award does come at a, at a perfect time because uh, we are now preparing uh, for uh, grant monies and so that we can become even more focused and effective in what we do uh, to help the needs of our community. Our greatest achievements lie ahead of us still. 
Um, I started to make a list of all the people I wanted to thank tonight, but then the list started to get to be a little too long. Uh, so uh, I just say thank you to all of you. Um, and, uh, you know, the fact that uh, my list grew so long, it made me realize what a congealed team that we are. You know, I did actually just want to make a special mention um, to, uh, to recognize Lisa Dollendorf, who I, I think is one of the most active people on our team. And, uh, and also, next to Mr. Chrisman, probably takes more flack than parents, uh, from parents than anybody else on the team as well, when, when people don't like what we're doing. Um, and uh, just, um, and for all those two that work behind the scenes, thank you. You play a very important key role in, in everything that we're doing. So stay tuned. There's more good things to come. Thank you.